my coming out episode not only changed my life, but I'm proud to say that it affected a, lo a, a lot of other people's lives in a positive way. And uh, here are some of them. Why would you think I was gay? Oh, wow, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just kind of got that vibe. Vibe? <laughs> like a gay vibe? <laughs> you know, like, like... <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. No, I think I think what you're uh, sensing is a very very strong I like men vibe, and it's uh, and it's it's throwing you a little bit. So you know you're confused about that. Ellen, um... Watching Ellen DeGeneres come out um, when I was a teenager was just monumental in my journey. Ellen really moved the needle as far as like acceptance and and tolerance. I think Ellen coming out had such a huge effect in the world because there weren't any gay people on TV. There just weren't. I'm old enough to remember that at the time, most people in America didn't think they knew any gay people. They may not have had gay people in their lives, but they had Ellen. It was a person that we all knew and we'd all come to love. It was inspiring a series of conversations in small towns and in households for me, me and my parents. Being able to see someone stand in their authenticity and to stand in that uniqueness so firmly, I think was empowering. It really did help people just open their minds up a little bit more. I loved her sitcom. When I went away to college, my parents gave me her book. <laughs> I still have it. I think this was in middle school. I had an assignment where I had to take a photo that was like a photo diary, a photo journal of my life. And I took a picture of me sitting in my parents' bedroom watching Ellen's sitcom. I was five years old. I saw the Time Magazine in a supermarket, and I remember it saying, I'm gay, and asking about it. Has there ever been anyone you felt you clicked with? And what was his name? Susan. <laughs> I loved the episode and thought it was extraordinary and special and meaningful and powerful and important. And I remember going to my friend's house. I had just moved to New York City, and I remember holding our breath the whole time because we just wanted it to be good. I remember standing in my living room with my hips, my hands on my hips and looking at her and going, you go girl. Why do I have to be so ashamed? I mean, why can't I just say the truth? I mean, be who I am. I'm 35 years old. I'm so afraid to tell people. I mean, I just, Susan, I'm gay. <laughs> Because I was in New York City, I could hear other people outside of our apartment laughing. It was kind of like us watching a football game where, you know, you would get up and scream. It made me proud for the first time in my life to be a lesbian woman. It was such a great metaphor for what she was really doing. She was coming out to this one person in her life, but the truth was she was announcing it into a microphone. And everyone was celebrating it, and we were just so happy that this moment happened and that we felt seen. I remember the cultural impact of it after it happened. People seemed to have very extreme reactions to it. I can't really imagine how it must have hurt so bad to have everyone disown you and like blacklist you and I've had a really wonderful experience coming out and I feel very lucky. As soon as it became less politicized, she was out there reminding people that she was still funny and she was still the person that they had fallen in love with. The fact that there are people that are working here that weren't even born yet when the puppy episode airs is very upsetting to me. <laughs> to be completely honest, I'm 25 years old so I was in the womb when the puppy episode came out. I didn't fully see the episode until I was in college, and I secretly YouTubed <laughs> how to be gay dash Ellen, and just hearing someone say gay for the first time was so inspiring. I remember going in my middle school library, like seeing the Time magazine cover, reading through the magazine, I was like, oh my God, like this is a thing. <laughs> like honestly, like wait, am I gay? Um, and I think that it really did impact my coming out knowing that even though a world was trying to tell me my limitations because of who I was, being able to see proof that that wasn't the reality and that isn't what it had to be, gave me the strength and the courage to want to want more for myself. I came out and I was 21. And then my dad was diagnosed with cancer. And then that was relatively quick with him passing a couple months later. And I'm so grateful that I was able to make that decision to come out and that he was able to 
to know the real me. So I grew up in an Ellen family. My parents watched it every day, my grandparents watched it every day, um, which has actually been super helpful to me when I did come out to my family because there was never a question about, are they gonna care, um, which is a very privileged position to be in. The reason that it is anticlimactic for some people nowadays and was for me is that it's not as big of a deal. I, I describe it sometimes as it was building up an armor for a battle that didn't exist, and that's because a lot of people already put in, put in that fight. Changing hearts and minds, uh, I, I don't think anybody's been more influential than you on that. Thank you so much, Ellen. Thank you for 19 seasons. You were an icon. And I think about um, your journey when you came out, the revolutionary moment that was so incredible and so inspiring. You made people like me who are from a little small town in Massachusetts feel like it's okay to be who you are. Um, and working here, I feel like I recognize that every day and I'm so thankful to be here as well. Without you, the world would not be what it is today for people like me to be able to occupy the spaces that we do. Had I not had that inspiration from you, Ellen, um, this would not be possible. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, so we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart thank you. Uh, just for having this humongous impact on our lives. I think the fact that The Ellen Show is in everyone's living room for the last 19 years, not just became something very ordinary for people to have in their homes every day. And I, I just think that even more so than that coming out episode, you know, that has really changed America. I don't think there's ever a day that goes by where I don't think to myself, I can't believe this is my life. I can't believe someone who I admired for so long, who I never in a million years thought I would get to know or get to work for or get to text with <laughs> would be, uh, this would my, what my life would be. Thanks everybody, thank you so much, we'll be back.